Hello everyone! Welcome back to another 2v2 battle. This is the Green Tide with me and Surreal. My forces over here, we have some goblins backed up by orc boys, a orc warboss on a wyvern. Behind them we have orc biggins, an orc shaman, black orcs, and then a couple goblin archers over here. I have two goblin rock lobbers as well sitting on this little ridge. Surreal also has two goblin rock lobbers over here, a goblin big boss, Azhag the Slaughterer, basic goblins, orc biggins, black orcs, two trolls, and an arachnorock spider. The enemy here has, now let's just go down the line here, we got some chaos warriors with halberds, slayers, giant, a ton of chaos warriors, forsaken, uh, colex sun eater, two iron drakes, one here and one over here, two corollers, a thunderer, ungrim iron fist, multiple longbeards with great weapons, a gyro bomber, flame cannon, um, iron breakers over here, and another chaos warrior with halberd. So the reason why me and Surreal were kind of deployed on the edge, uh, this is a, a, a map that the enemy picked. And seeing that the races they chose, two very heavily armored, potentially defensive races, well, the doors are very defensive, but the chaos is very uh, sturdy frontliners. We thought before the battle started that maybe they would try and use the choke points to their advantage, and that is definitely what they're doing right here. Like, look at this death trap. If we were to funnel ourselves into here, this flame cannon, the coilers, and everything would just be raining down upon us. Which is why we deployed on the sides, because we thought this may happen, and hey, it happens. So he's going to be going up the right side, I'm going to be going up the left side, where there is only this group of Chaos Warriors with halberds. I don't see them right now, but um, we do see this immediately, and we're like, oh man, I guess we were right. <laughs> so we chose not to walk up the middle, because that's a death trap. The enemy sends out this gyro bomber to try and silence our goblin rock lobbers, which are currently hitting the flame cannon and some other units around here. So both me and Surreal are going to move our flying heroes into position to fight this off. Here comes our war boss. And then Azag is right here. And we're just going to start nailing this gyro bomber. Meanwhile, my army continues to push up the left, and Surreal is going to be pushing up the right. Um, his army is going to be a little bit behind mine, because I think he was focused right here. And there we go. What is that, 1,100 down? They have a celebratory high five, and then they go their separate ways. <laughs> Meanwhile, my army is pushing in here. I see the Chaos Warriors, and that's it so far. And they're not moving, and there's really not much, much movement in the units that we can see. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just move around the Chaos Warriors. Why even fight them? So I'm going to be moving our goblins, our orc boys, and some biggins all the way around into this forest. And then I'm going to surround and engage and destroy those Chaos Warriors. I'm not sure what's being cast here. Oh, Azak's casting the Purple Sun of Xerius. That's not those Thunderers a little bit. So after all that, it did do some damage. There goes Surreal's army up the right. Goblin Rock Lobbers are mostly unchallenged now that the bomber is destroyed. So they're just going to be raining death upon these Chaos Warriors now. Because they are um, more well suited to take them out than a flame cannon, I think. So yeah, there go my forces just all the way around these Chaos Warriors. Um, temporarily, these Iron Breakers are going to be moving up. But they're going to be withdrawn soon-ish. And Surreal's army is... Still kind of getting into position. I think he's going up all the way up the right. So, yep. Just Goblin Rock Lobbers hitting the Dwarven lines. Kind of missing, though. There go the Iron Breakers. When my Black Horse get up here, I'm going to then, I believe, engage those Chaos Warriors. You see the Corollers starting to shoot at our Goblins. Goblins have a very high um, block chance with their shield, and I'm assuming they're small size, too. Plus, since they're in the forest, these corridors aren't going to be doing too much. But we are still just getting into position. Trying to get totally behind this line over here. Azag is messing around with some iron break or uh, iron drakes over here. And it's going to pull back because Kolak is getting close. You can see the dwarven range uh, component getting off this ridge, seeing that, that our army is flooding into the forest. This group is already suffering from a lot of morale penalties due to just how many enemies are around them. And the attack is going to begin. I'm trying right here to catch this flame cannon that's wheeling away. But these, um, these dwarven warriors are going to get into our, into our path.
We're gonna have more goblins flooding around. You can see them continue to pour around the flanks. Over here, the, we have engaged against the... Um, let me speed up the camera. Those Chaos Warriors. So we have a group of Black Orcs and I believe a couple Orc Biggins just to do a, a total surround. This is not much of a fight at all. They get instantly destroyed because... I don't think the enemy realized that they were even over there. Azag is over here trying to get into all of these corridors to make sure that they do not fire on our lines. And then Surreal is going to be coming in from the uh, right side there. There, he's still on his way. We'll get to his battle here shortly. We got a most surround on this group of Longbeards. More goblins pouring around. Orc boys in the distance. Kolek up there. A very scary enemy. There we go, getting a charge on these Iron Breakers with our Orc boys. Iron Breakers going to be able to win this fight. But what else are our are, are, um, Orc boys going to be doing? So you actually see what's going on. <laughs> Take away the trees. Still messing around with these Corlers with my um, the Orc War Boss. Still dealing with these one group of uh, Dwarven Longbeards. The rest of our forces are now coming up. Kolek has now engaged our Orc War Boss. We do have um, a potion of healing, so I'm just taking the hits while we uh, destroy those Corlers. Still over here dealing with these Iron Breakers in the woods. Now let me give you a above view on what's happening here. So there go those Chaos Warriors. They were destroyed. They didn't really get to do too much. Our Black Orcs are finally coming into the battle. We still have um, Orc Biggins in reserve here. Just kind of taking our time as Surreal's forces are st still trying to engage against this Chaos Warrior over here. Um, and yeah, you can see we've taken a lot of damage from Kovac, but that is going to be okay, I believe. And then yeah, we're still just kind of taking out these Longbeards and... Uh, as many corridors as we can. You can see our Orc War Boss took out most of them along with our Goblin Rock Lobbers. Their Thunderers still have some numbers, but they have taken a lot of hit point damage at this time. Orc Boys don't really have much of a chance against Iron Breakers. Just, just saying. You can see my Goblin Archers are now in position to rain death upon Kolek. Again, Kolek doesn't have much armor, so if you can focus him down, even with Goblin Archers, he'll eventually uh, fall. I mean, anything would eventually fall, but I'm saying he's somewhat susceptible to focus range fire. Black Orcs getting into these Chaos Warriors who are trying to reinforce the Dwarven allies. We're getting hit with the um, Soul Blight, but we also have a Air We Go, so that's okay. Chaos Warriors are strong. Black Orcs are stronger. More Orcs pouring over the <laughs> over the um, bridge there. My War Boss should be around. There he is. He's coming back. Maybe I did I not give him a potion? No, he has a potion. I just haven't popped it yet. You can see it right there, the blue uh, icon. The uh, Iron Drakes, we try to destroy as many as we can, and they are now getting some fire down on our orcs, so we're going to go over there and silence them again. The Wyvern says no. I do not want those Iron Drakes firing into me, and then we get our orc boys over here to silence the other group. Actually, no, these are the Thunderers and Iron Drakes. Trying to run away from Kolek. That's not a fight I really want. Here comes some Dwarven Slayers. Orcs everywhere. So you can see Kolek at this point has almost been focused down. More Chaos Warriors coming into the fight. More Chaos Warriors running away from the fight. <laughs> As more Orcs continue to pour over the um, bridge there. There's our Goblin Archers. And Kolek, did Kolek die at this point? Or did he route? He routed. He's routing out over there. Is 
some now Chaos Forsaken coming in. Into our Black Orcs. And Surreal, he's over here. He's dealing with the Chaos Giant. We'll get to him here in a moment. Again, Forsaken are strong. Black Orcs are stronger. Over here, we're still dealing with the remaining Dwarven forces as well, with our Orc Biggins. They have uh, chewed through most of our Orc boys that were sent against them and our Goblins, but that's okay. We have more Orcs where those came from. Give you an above view here again. Goblin Archers are in position to support the frontline fight again. Here comes the Arachnorok. From Surreal's forces. Um, you know, let's let's pause here. There's not much left in the battle. And we'll check out what happened on Surreal's side. Surreal's forces are getting into position here. You can see at this point, the fight with me and the dwarves are already well underway. Um, me and Kolek are about to do the little duel with the Orc War Boss that I'm going to have to run away from. Up here we have a waiting line of Chaos Warriors. Just waiting for those goblins to charge them. Uh huh. There they go. Well, maybe. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just kind of, you know, I'm just over here doing my orc thing. Surreal will charge here soon. Anytime. Maybe he's going around. They're going to sort of, I guess, yell at each other for a while. Here we go. Charge into those Chaos Warriors. Arachnorok walking around. Goblins don't have much of a chance against the Chaos Warriors, but with support they do. Here comes our Chaos Giant, and we're getting a flank action here from the rest of Surreal's forces. Azag in there as well. The Giants will do a little bit better against the Chaos Warriors. Or, not the Giants, the Trolls. And then the rest of Surreal's forces are still kind of over here. I think I think they're on the way to help me out over here. Some of the Goblins have routed at this point. But there still are Trolls and um, Azag is around. Black Orcs are around. But I'm not sure if he... I don't think he actually... There they come, there they come. Getting a real charge in on these... Remaining warriors. Azag is in a tree. And I believe the rest of the Chaos Forces actually withdraw. Because that's when we see them coming in to reinforce the Torven player over here. Um, so here comes the rest of Surreal's forces, getting a total surround on the Giant and the Chaos Warrior over here. So severely outnumbered, the Giant is going to fall, along with, I think there was two Chaos Warriors. One Chaos Warrior and then like the Halberdier unit here. And there we go, Surreal's forces are now marching forward to meet up with mine. I was giving him so much trash talking in this one. I was like, where you at, Surreal? He's like, I'm on my way. <laughs> He's like, I'm dealing with this giant over here, man. I'm like, oh, oh, okay, that's cool. Don't worry, I'm just gonna deal with all their armies over here. It's fine. But here he comes. Better late than never. Charging down the hill into the rear. Reinforcing our orcs that are uh, in combat. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, I gave him so much shit talking for this one. We are routing the Forsaken and the Chaos Warriors. The charge from the rear. Because I remember, yeah, because so when he charged in like this and everything started routing, he's like, look at that, man. I just like routed the entire field. I just sighed. I was just like, you mother. <laughs> he, he knew. Anyway, it was kind of funny. Over here, we still have some units. Uh, oh, no, I'm not sorry. Not some units. One unit. Guess what unit that is? Ungrum Ye Old Iron Fist. Oh, I hate this dwarf. Oh, nice! Also, this is kind of disturbing. It looks like... does Wait, does the wyvern have a... A stomach mouth? Wait, what? Or is that just like clipping through... Oh, is that... That's the saddle, right? That's just the saddle? That has to be just a saddle, right? I never... Okay, it has to be. Anyway, it looks like um, this wyvern is going to be eating Ungram Iron Fist today. Which is pretty cool, unless he's flying in the air somewhere. I don't see him. Yeah, we'll just assume that Ungram got eaten by a wyvern. That's fine. That's a fitting in for him. So, uh, good game to my opponents and to Surreal. Let's take a look at the kill count. It's odd that his part of the fight was a lot shorter than mine. Really weird, wasn't it? Uh, okay, anyway. So, for the kills here, we got some decent amount on the goblins. Uh, Orc War Boss was busy handling the Corlers, Iron Drakes, and Kolek. Well... He wasn't handling Kolek, he was getting handled by Kolek. Uh, orc boys were fighting mostly against those Iron Breakers, so they didn't get to do too much. But hey, they tired them out for the Orc Biggins to come in and finish the job. Black Orcs did really well. Goblins were focusing down Kolek for the most part. And then the Rock Lobbers, they cost 600, I think? We'll check them out, because I, I never use them. So we'll look at their stats here. I believe they're Armor Piercers. That's why I took them. Uh, then for Surreal, we got 32 kills on Azak, 8 on the Goblin Big Boss. Goblins here did okay. Biggins did okay. Um... Really not, it's, it's odd, there's really not a high kill count on his side. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder why that is. <laughs> I wonder why that is. I gave him so much shit. Uh, over here we got Kolek with one kill. I wonder if that was against my war boss. Because, did he fall or did he just route? I can't remember. Uh, 15 kills on this ex uh, Chaos Sorcerer, 20 and 28 on the Forsaken are uh, not bad. For the most part, the Chaos line just kind of got wrecked. Uh, the Giant managed to get 60 kills before it got surrounded and killed. And then the Dwarf player, 87 kills on Ungram. Kind of a high kill amount here as they were chewing through my Orc Boys, Goblins, and uh, Biggins. But uh, we shut down most of the ranged components here, including the Flame Cannon. For the most part. So yeah, like these Corlers were destroyed. The Iron Drakes, for the most part, were destroyed. And the Flame Cannon got destroyed before it could really do some damage, along with the Gyrocopter. So that was a lot of money spent that we managed to destroy before the battle even started. But the Longbeards did really good, Iron Breakers did really good, and of course Ungram did extremely well. So again, good game to my opponents. Take a quick look at that rock lobber. It seemed to be kind of accurate. And yeah, it's only 600 in cost. So it does have armor piercing damage of, what is it, 135, and then explosive armor piercing damage. So it's, I think it's a decent choice to pick against the dwarves, I think. It's a cheap unit that does armor piercing damage and explosion armor piercing damage. Has decent amount of ammunition. Its accuracy didn't seem to be the best. But, dwarves are not very mobile, so it's a good chance that it's going to get a lot of hits on them. And you saw for 600, they were getting, what, like 60 kills each, about, against their Quarlers, Thunderers, and I think also against some Chaos Warriors. So yeah, not bad. I mean, most of the time you're going to see Doom Diver Catapults, just because they are really good. They're really good. But you know what? If you only have some money a little bit left over, yeah, I think that's a solid unit to take. Why not? Give it a shot. Can't hurt. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Take care.